Okay, so typically when a multimeter uh, goes bad or something goes wrong with it, it's one of the fuses on the inside that have blown, one of the protective fuses. So in this uh, video, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to locate those fuses and change those fuses uh, within your multimeter. So here I have a multimeter and I've already removed the screws from uh, within. And so what we'll go ahead, go ahead and do now, since we have the screws removed, is uh, remove the battery from the back here. There we go. Make sure you disconnect the battery because the battery you don't want the battery to be connected while you're inside uh, playing with the uh, removing the fuse from on the inside. So make sure you disconnect the battery. Once you've done that, you can pull the back cover off. We're going to slip the battery connector through here. And this now exposes the uh, circuitry on the inside. From here, we're going to tug just slightly on the top here. Okay, which allows us to remove this part. So now you'll notice that in this multimeter, we have two fuses. We have one here, and this is typically, uh, the larger one is typically for the amp uh, setting. And then the smaller one here is for the milliamp and microamp setting. So if the fuses have gone bad, what you do is you would remove them. And by the way, in order to figure out if the fuses have uh, gone bad, sometimes you can visually inspect them. And you're looking for uh, the wire on the inside or the filament on the inside to be uh, connected. If the filament is not connected, then it's gone bad. Uh, another way that you can actually check is by looking at, um, I have another video on YouTube uh, that shows how to check if a fuse is uh, good or bad, so you can use that, okay? So in this case here, uh, these fuses are, are just fine because I, uh, I know that from checking the multimeter before, uh, but if you need to replace them, for instance, you can get a a small screwdriver or something really really thin and you just go in on the bottom here and just slightly lift in this case in fact let's just go ahead and slide this out of here so slide the fuse down and then we can lift it right out of there okay and then you would re replace the fuse best way is probably let's get a little bit of uh, better setting here and just snap it right in okay and once you have done that you just go ahead and uh, return the the uh, board here if it if yours is set up this way return turn the board to uh, its original position and just be gentle with it okay push it down and then take the cover back off here or put the cover back on pardon me and put the battery connector through replace the back cover and then once the back cover is back on there, you can either return the battery or, or replace the battery at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the battery. And from there, then you can go ahead and return the screws into each of the uh, holes that they came out of, okay? So that is how you go about uh, one, uh, removing the uh, cover identifying where the fuses are within the uh, battery, uh, in, within the multimeter, and then uh, 
replacing them if necessary and returning the cover to the back.